Jeff Gillooly is going to the slammer. The defendant is sentenced to a term of imprisonment, 24 months, and to 36 months of post-prison supervision. Now, in an exclusive interview, Tanya's ex tells a current affair why he's over the Ice Queen. I've had my fill of Tanya. I just want to go the other direction now. And why he says Tanya's troubles are far from over. She'll have to live with that for the rest of her life. Exclusive, Tanya and me today. Sentenced for his part in the attack on Nancy Kerrigan. I'm serious, this ranking of nine. I realize, of course, that a, an apology coming from me rings hollow. But I was sorry after the act was committed, and I'm sorry now. The defendant is sentenced to a term of imprisonment of 24 months and to 36 months of post-prison supervision. Well, Mike Watkins has followed the story since the beginning, and Mike is in Portland today for the grand finale. Hi, Mike. Hello, Jim. Uh, it seemed like a pretty stiff sentence for Galuli. Was he expecting that, or was that a surprise to him? Jim, I think it was the sentence that Jeff Galuli had most feared, and certainly not the one he had hoped for. Prosecutors in this case, and that's the prosecutors, by their own admission say that Jeff Galuli is the only defendant who came forward, told the truth, passed the lie detector test, and helped with their investigation. Uh, the other defendants got only 18 months. Jeff Galuli got two years. The judge threw the book at him. And, of course, the big winner in all this is Tanya Harding. She won't do a minute behind bars. When does he start uh, paying the sentence? Well, Jim, he was, uh, they, they slapped the cuffs on him right in our, in our presence in the courtroom. Two armed guards came up. They took him out. And I can tell you that Jeff Galuli will be eating prison grub tonight. <laughs> You've spoken to him several times, of course, since this whole debacle began. Has he changed at all? Has he learned anything from any of this? Well, I tell you, from the very beginning, Jeff Galuli has seemed like a thoughtful, well-spoken young man. He has said he's sorry, and he, as you know, dealing with people like this, you're never sure if they're, they're really sorry or they're sorry they got caught. He says he's sorry, and when I sat down with him over this past weekend, he seemed a very serious, very somber. He knew what lay ahead. I know I did the right thing. And I can live with myself now. And whether it's tomorrow or next month or next year or ten years from now, I think that's going to catch up with Tanya. Jeff, have you cut a deal? It was just seven short months ago when no one even knew how to pronounce his name. Yet today, Jeff Galuli is one of the most famous convicts in America. And tonight is Jeff's first locked behind bars. I don't feel proud of that fact. I mean, I don't, you know, you'd like to invent a cure for cancer or something, but... Uh, I'm not proud of that fact. I want to go on and forget about it. Why? Why? Yet really, how can any of us forget? First that cowardly attack on Nancy Kerrigan, then the lies, the finger pointing, and the allegations, followed by the most watched Winter Olympics in history. It was an American scandal played out on a worldwide stage. And for his part, Jeff Galuli is now doing his time. Yet yeah, just days before he was taken into custody, Galuli granted me one final interview. And because Jeff will be spending a good deal of time indoors, we decided to step outside under the towering Oregon pine trees off to the side of the lovely cabin that Jeff once shared with Tanya. And it was here that Jeff Galuli talked about the future and about his ex-wife. She won it every round there. She did really well for herself, I think. I think still one of the great mysteries or the great questions about this, Tanya has consistently denied that she knew about this attack beforehand. Did she? Yeah. Yeah, she knew. I think that, you know, it's funny that you asked me that question because nobody asked me that question, Mike. Ever, anybody that's halfway intelligent knows that she was involved from the beginning. Nobody believes that she wasn't involved. I mean, that's your real avid Tanya Harding fan. It's obvious to most everybody. Despite Galuli's claims, Tanya Harding has repeatedly denied that she helped plan the attack on Nancy Kerrigan. And she was never charged with knowing about the crime before it happened. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Nope. I don't have anything to say to you. Okay. How you doing? Get out of my face. You'll never ever have to say that she was involved, except for after the fact. But you know, the, the, the sad part about that, Mike, is she'll have to live with that for the rest of her life, too, though. I remember 
the absolute feeling of relief that I have when I finally told the truth. I couldn't sleep, and it took a, a really tough physical toll on me. And I remember the relief that I felt afterwards, knowing I did the right thing. Whether people agree with it or not, I know I did the right thing. And Galuli has always maintained that he cooperated with the FBI only after Tanya first ratted him out. Even then, he says, he was willing to take the blame until it became obvious that Tanya was going to dump him. I'm not afraid of going to jail. People ask me that. And Seriously? Yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid of, of, of being in jail in, in an institution, or facility, or whatever you want to call it. The part that scares me is leaving the family. You know, I'd love to change it, but you kind of come to the realization that it's going to happen, and there's not much you can do about it. And so you make the best of it. And Galuli says, despite his unforgettable name, he hopes that after he pays his court-ordered debt to society, he can quietly slip back into obscurity, a fate that already seems to have claimed the other members of the gang that couldn't shoot straight, the hitman, the getaway driver, and that 300-pound bodyguard. Yet of all those involved in the Kerrigan affair, Tanya Harding has fared by far the best. It's an American success story. Despite lying very publicly to investigators and the American people, despite pleading guilty to a felony, and despite a miserable performance at the Olympics, Tanya Harding has done wonderfully well. After pleading guilty to covering up the crime, Tanya Harding got not one minute of jail time. She's embarking on a career as an actress. She moonlights sometimes as a, quote, celebrity wrestling promoter. She's scheduled to appear on the show American Gladiators. And here's how Tanya looks in a segment from next month's Esquire called Women We Love. When we talked before, mm -hmm. you told me that you still love Tanya. Honestly, do you still feel that way? No, I don't. I, I mean, I always have deep feelings for Tanya because she was a big part of my life for a long time. But I've had my fill with Tanya. I just want to go the other direction now. There have been rumors that I've heard all the way down to Los Angeles that you and Tanya seeing each other once again. And in right. fact, there's one rumor that said you went to a hotel recently together. Never. Though. Any it's truth? Not true. No, it's not. It's not true. It's like Elvis yeah, sighting. It, it's, a, it's like an Elvis sighting, you know. If you want to see it bad enough, I guess. In fact, both Jeff and Tanya now have someone new in their lives. And just to keep things confusing, Jeff's new girlfriend and Tanya's new boyfriend both live in the same apartment complex. And many say Tanya's new beau looks a lot like Jeff. I don't think it looks like me. I think it's better looking. We were in a, happened to be in the grocery store at the same time the other day, and, and uh, the check stand lady was making a big deal out of the fact that Tanya was in there. And, um, and I was standing in the grocery line, and the guy ahead of me says, nah, I'm just tired of hearing about all that crap. And, and I go, yeah, I know what you mean. And he, he didn't recognize me, which is kind of nice, but uh, it's kind of it's kind of funny. Well, now that Galuli's gone to jail, we've finally seen the last of the Tanya and Nancy saga. Right.